Okay, so I got myself a new toy here. Uh, it's a DeWalt Surtur Saw uh, Model 5150. Uh, six and a half inch blade. This thing is actually pretty nice. I cut two pieces of wood with it. I like it very much. It has an um, automatic brake system on it. Um, it's got a lever over here, a safety lever, so you need to push the lever down to um, activate the blade. Let me just see if I can do this with my left hand here just to show you. But the blade that stops automatically once you let go of the trigger. Sorry, my arm was in the way. But the blade that stops automatically when you let go. I like that feature there. One thing I wish they would do with these circular saws is sometimes you need to cut a piece of wood on an angle, like start on the corner and cut it because um, the piece of wood is not uh, straight. And you need to start on the corner and cut into the wood. And this guard here, it's hard to do that because the guard will not retract back like that or I wish they would make a clip here that on these circular saws that you can hold it in temporarily and then just once the guard um, hits the piece of wood there and is able to hold itself up uh, then you can just unclip it and let it go back down so I think I'm gonna make something for here for it Anyway, this thing has uh, a cutting depth at, of 90 de at 90 degrees of 2 and 1 eighth of an inch or 53.9 millimeters. Uh, at 45 degrees, it'll cut 1 and 5 eighths inch uh, or 51.3 millimeters. Um, the low, no load speed is 50, uh, 5,150 RPMs on this thing. It's really not that fast, but it does cut pretty good. I'll show you in a second there. One thing I also don't like about this, um, I'm not a, a carpenter or a really wood cutter or whatever. I just like doing little projects here and there. I just don't like the blade that came with it. It's an 18 tooth blade and it just rips wood, but it, it leaves chips. It chips up the wood quite a bit. So I ordered a 24 and a 40 tooth blade for it so I'm going to show you in a minute uh, how this uh, cuts here also this saw here didn't co doesn't come with um, um, a guide that you can slide in here to guide you through the wood like when you want to cut um, certain widths of wood or anything so in the future video I'm going to end up by, uh, making one I wish it did, would come. I went to a Home Depot. They don't sell them. Amazon sells all kinds of them. But people, I read the comments. People are saying that they received the wrong one. That it doesn't fit their saws or whatever. So I really don't want to order one from Amazon. And as I said, Home Depot, they don't stock them. They said you have to order it online. Um, but I think I'm going to eventually just uh, end up making one. It has all the features of regular saws. Like you can turn it at... 45 degrees raise and lower the the blade and everything it does not come with a battery and charger it's uh, 159 dollars and you can order it with battery and charger obviously it's going to be more expensive i do have uh, uh, a few of these uh, dewalt batteries uh, for my other tools my drill and screw gun and that so um, later on i might order one um, my highest one that I have now is 3 amps. I might order a 5 amp later on. And that's so, um, yeah, for $159 Canadian, uh, you only get the tool. So I'm going to show you um, how this thing cuts. I'll cut into a 1x2 and then a 2x4. That's a piece of one by three there. It actually cuts, the saw cuts actually pretty nice.
This is a piece of two by four I just grabbed from outside. It's snowing out here today. So this thing is pretty wet, but I'm... As you can see, the saw is, is a really nice saw, so I like it anyway. So this was just a short video just to show you a little bit about what this saw does. It actually cuts really nice. I like it. Um, I, if anyone is planning on getting something like this, like, um, this is nice if you already have, or if you're just starting off with the um, power tools, or if you already have some Dewalt tools and that, but if you're, if someone's already got, like, Ryobi, or, um, Makita or whatever, I would stick to those. You don't want to go buy a Dewalt when you have all kinds of other chargers and, and everything. Then you're going to have different chargers, different batteries, and um, and that. So like, what I like doing is sticking to one model. My, uh, when my dad passed away, he left me a few of Dewalt tools. That's why I'm sticking with Dewalt. It's not because I favor them over anything else. It's just because I already have bunch of um dewalt batteries and um and chargers so that's why i went with the dewalt anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you on my next one cheers